I don't know of a better time in the history to be professional handyman or contractors. The economy is growing. The society is becoming less and less of a handy. And houses are getting way more complex. People are outsourcing more of their lives every day to attempt to do more, have more, and even be more. And it used to be uncommon to hire a house cleaner. In fact, this was something for the wealthy family that can afford. But now it's normal for any middle class family to not hire only house keepers, but to hire mobile dog groomers, a carpet cleaners, painters, lawn care services, and pretty much anything, including a handyman. Basically, there has never been such a high demand of their services. But the interesting thing is that as an industry, especially for the handyman category, they're relatively unsophisticated. Now, most industries have some complex sales and marketings behind them, but most handyman businesses, it's just a dude with a truck and some tools. And I hate to say, but for most part, their marketing sucks. Even though there's a high demand for their services, it's still very challenging for homeowners to find a good service provider. That's why big companies like Home Advisors, Thumbtack, TaskRabbit, and they actually even Amazon have created a very, very profitable business selling customers to on demand contractors and other home service providers. You guys have a service that actually people want, but you suck at reaching out to your ideal customers. So these big companies attempt to connect you with customers for a fee. Every lead you buy is in another nail in your coffin. Now for most small service professionals, especially those just getting started, Partnering up with these big tech companies seems like a good idea. I mean, they can just buy leads easily right now and outsource the headache of marketing altogether. It seems like a no-brainer at first, but it's actually a terrible idea in the long run. And that's because these large tech companies are going slowly becoming a go-to resources for homeowners who actually need a service. And as that going to happen, they're going to gain control over the industry and ultimately your business. And before you know it, they're going to be setting the rules that will determine how much a lead is going to cost. They can charge you for a low quality lead and you'll have no choice but to pay. And anybody who's paid for leads know they're already a huge hassle to deal with it. And if things keep going this way, those big companies are going to gain even more momentum become even more sophisticated, plant their brand firmly in Americans' minds, and soon they will, could be actually setting prices as well. The big companies will be optimized to offer the best possible value to their customers while squeezing the small service providers that deliver the actual service to the point of razor-thin profits. Now, the same things has already happened in other industries. Just take a look at Amazon. And what has he done for the retail stores and how many product brands? Often these brands have no choice but to sell their stuff on Amazon, but by doing so, they're essentially forced to lower their prices. These big tech companies have the actual deep pocket and can afford to have the kind of long-term, lose money now, gain power later strategy like that capitalized Amazon into the small business crushing behemoth that it is today. And here's the thing, guys. When you rely on others to do your marketing, they control your business and your profit. And if you rely on others to bring you work, well, let's face it, you don't have a business, you have a job, but there's a better way for you to reach your ideal customers that doesn't require you to hand over your hard earning profits to big tech companies. And there's no secret that the actual internet is the best way to reach potential customers, whether you're selling home repairs or gardening buffoons. And since the home service industry as a whole is a relatively unsophisticated when it comes down to the marketing, it's actually surprisingly easy to stand out online if you're willing to learn how to leverage the tools that are available to you. And yes, it will take time and maybe money and energy to learn this, but it's not something that is just going to be done for you. But believe me, it's actually worth it. Building a strong online presence is an investment in your business that will pay huge dividends. And I'm going to show you some few things, benefits that you actually can enjoy from doing so. 
The first one that comes to mind is lower the cost to acquire customers. You have a higher profit and you don't have to buy leads. The quality of the customers are going to be great because they are in on, aligned with your business. You'll have more security with market shifts and then ultimately you have more control over your business and the customer experience. Instead of you business losing control over time, you're actually gaining more control and growing your profits. And good marketing, let's be honest, also benefit your customers. Assuming you have a great service, you'll actually be helping your customers by making it so much easier to find you. You'll also be helping them in the long run by cutting down the middleman. So you have a choice. Right now, you can leverage the high demand for your service and the fact that competition is unsophisticated to grow your business. But let me tell you this, things won't always be this way. The market is going to evolve. And there's a wave of opportunity. And you can either ride it or let it ride you. This is Tariq and thank you for watching.